What is going on everybody? It's a beautiful day today here at the Motor Coach Store in Bradenton, Florida. And today I am really excited because this 2022 Prevo Featherlight bunk model just became available for sale. This coach is listed for $1,999,999. It's a very rare opportunity for a late model Prevo to become available. So this coach just got here. It hasn't been detailed yet. They just did a quick wash on it, but I wanted to let you guys know that this is available and this is probably one of the nicest spec Prevo feather lights I've ever seen. A lot of detail, a really cool pattern, really simple, rich colors, but just a stunning coach overall. But the interior is what it's all about on this coach. But let's take a quick look at the basement base and then we'll take a tour of the inside. So starting at the front of the coach, I love the doorbell camera here. You also have the side cameras and I really like the paint on the front end of the coach. Just a really good look. And then going into the first bay here, you've got a wine cooler and this is on a power slide tray. So you've got remotes here in the bays. This is a huge wine cooler here. I love how Featherlight finishes out these bays. This is actually a full on outdoor kitchen. I didn't realize it just keeps coming out here. And boom, now you've got a bunch of countertop space here, your big wine cooler. It's got a little ice maker here on the side. I love how Featherlight finishes everything out with their labels. And then as we come around to this side, you've got a little spot for a trash receptacle little drawer space here all dovetail construction again with that feather light logo feather light lawn chairs here that easily tuck away as well as a table here that comes out so you can get set up to uh, have some outdoor eating pretty easily it's a pretty light table that just goes right into that spot then this next bay is gonna be storage and this is the Prevo H3 chassis so the tallest base in the industry again you've got a power slide tray and then there's some more lawn chairs stored back there right now and you've got some of your components housed in this bay and I like how everything is all finished off with these nice compartments here this next bay I believe this is going to be the generator you do have a little bit of storage up here it is lit it's pretty bright right now outlets here 20 kW power tech generator all super clean this next bay is going to be your pull out cooler now this is a manual tray and then you've got the little Traeger here that stores up here if you want to pull that out and put it on that table. Outlets in this bay all lit up. Then you've got your TV here and I do want to point out this is a double slide coach. The nice thing about that is when these big awnings come out you're going to have all of this room underneath the awnings and then you've just got easier access to your bays on this side. All the bays swing up here and this TV does have the dust cover on it right now but Samsung TV with a sound bar, all super clean. And even the little details, like how they finish it out behind the TV there. And talking about those awnings, I just press one button and those will come out. Now it is a pretty windy day right here, so they may go back in at any point. There are wind sensors, uh, and that's a huge advantage too. If it does get too windy, you're not gonna lose an awning. So you can see we've got all, both of the awnings out right now. And this being a double slide coach, we just have a lot of patio space under cover. If you want to hang out here, grab a cold glass of wine, uh, cook something up on the Traeger with your table and chairs, and then watch something on TV, you've got a lot of nice patio under undercover area here on this coach. So this does have the Volvo D13, 515 horsepower, 1,850 pound-feet of torque, and a 20,000 pound towing capacity. Another thing I want to point out on this coach is how they bring the paint job through the radiator fins and then that perforated vinyl through the rear windows. They're giving it a really cool look. And then I love how Featherlight finishes out their plumbing bay. You've got an exterior faucet, your black and gray tank, your black and gray tank flush here, tank monitors, real simple, outlets out here. You've got a little digital panel. You can control your awnings, accent lighting. This has all kinds of cool RBG lighting on it, your water pump, your bay heaters, lots of stuff can be controlled from this panel. You've got your gravity fill for your fresh water. It does have a manifold system back here. All super simple, clean, a spot for gloves, a spot for paper towel. Really cool how they finish that out. So this next bay is for your toolbox here, as well as some of the Hydronics tech buttons. So this is your Hydronic heating system. You've got the Aqua Hot. And rather than just having the Aqua Hot back there, they've got it finished out 
with this nice feather like cover. I like how they do that. Uh, then it looks like a little Dyson vacuum stored back here as well. Okay, so I'll be honest, I'm still learning about this coach. Uh, this is where your 50 amp cord reel is gonna be. Uh, you've got your battery disconnects here, uh, your magnum inverters back here, fans back there. I believe that's gonna be the cooling system for the generator. I'm not sure what's all kind of in this enclosure, but I'm gonna guess it's the generator cooling system. And then here's the other side of the full front pass-through bays, and they do have the slide trays that will come out both ways. And I like to see this, they've got the little ladder right here, easily stowed away nice little spot for that all right guys you caught me hanging out in here this is definitely one of the nicest coaches I've ever seen here at the motor coach store and really one of the nicest coaches I've ever been in I love the style and design of this coach with the light color woods the light colors the dark floors and this ceiling is one of the coolest patterns I've seen in a motorhome I've really got to tip my hat to the team at Featherlight for the design on this now coming up to the cockpit area here these driver's seats the style of the stitching really a class act a cool design i like that they're starting to use some newer cooler patterns on the driver's seats that really blend together with the entire theme of this coach you've got the carbon fiber steering wheel huge screens here wireless charging a nice cup holder for the driver i love how it's all finished out in that carbon fiber and of course it's on the prevo h3 chassis so this is a commercial grade bus this coach is definitely a driver and then your passenger set up with a nice navigation screen the same cool style on the seats the cup holder really a nice coach nice cloth style seating here just such a nice coach just super comfortable nice accent pillows this will turn into sleeping as well it does have the pull out sofa and then you've got these little ottomans here for storage and then a couple recliners over here and i love the cool style on this lamp the light colored countertops just really ties together well i like the booth in this coach as well they've got the scrabble game set up for you for the family you've got overhead cabinets here all lit up when I open those. And a little countertop space back here. Again, cool accents. And as we go around the coach, we're gonna see all these little digital panels where we can control the lighting, the shades, uh, climate control, the slide rooms, all that good stuff from these panels that are all over the coach. Going into the galley here, got lots of storage all lit up. I love how it's detailed. You can see the vacuum lines on this carpet. It does have the Viking microwave. Big Fisher Paykel refrigerator. I love the hardware that they use. This is cool. It's almost like a wine cork bottom of this drawer as well. Again, the dovetail construction with the Featherlight logo. It's gonna be the same style in all of these drawers. I really like the consistency. Just a different cool theme in this coach. And lots of drawer space. I like the silverware dividers. That same, I'm gonna call it a wine cork lining in the drawers there. And then a little storage below your sink little spot for dish sponges and a sink cover that matches this beautiful countertop then you've got your cooktop here as well and a little spot for storage over here nice pull out drawers again you're going to see that dovetail construction feather light logos throughout then a nice big pantry again very well lit you've got the pull out drawers again consistent with that feather light logo and very well lit as well yeah, so coming into the middle of the coach here, I love the style of this woodwork. Now this can be utilized a few different ways. Now you're gonna notice we do have drawers down low here, nice storage in the middle of the coach. And there's gonna be three of those with that aircraft style hardware. But when we open these cabinets up here, these will actually fold out. So then we've got the bunks here, air conditioning vents in each bunk. And then if you wanted to turn this into a closet, you've got this closet bar right here. This can fold up and then this could be utilized as a really large closet. Now, this is a mid bath coach and a lot of folks like the mid rat bathroom. It's a good utilization of space. And this is actually a really large shower. So I wanna do the shower test for you guys. I'm 6'2". <laughs> I, I have been losing a lot of weight lately, so I'm not quite as husky as I used to be, but I still uh, have pretty wide shoulders here, so you can see, can do the 360 test. I've got plenty of room, and then there is a vent with a fan, and 
Really cool style on the tile floor. Good size shower head. I like the brass finishes. Nice bowl sink. And simple medicine cabinet. And this is cool. You got a Samsung TV in the bathroom. That's uh, you don't see that too often. If you want to watch the news while you're taking a shower, I like that. The master bedroom back here. You've got a lot of room. Now, this is a double slide coach. And a lot of people like double slides. It's just less stuff. So you've got the TV on the televator. We do have all the shades down as well. And of course, that same beautiful ceiling treatment through the coach. And then you do have a sink back here as well. So if someone wants to get ready in the bedroom while someone else is uh, using the bathroom, you do have that second sink back here again with that beautiful backsplash medicine cabinet here as well. You've got your floor heat controls and a lot of storage in this coach. So we've got a big closet here and I love how the, the closet bar is downlit and then you've got a safe back there kind of hidden behind where your wardrobe would be. This is cedar lined and all of the accent lighting through the coach, you know, and the ceiling just really goes together well. But again, more storage here. You've got drawer space. All your remotes are in this little drawer here. More drawers, bedside. And I like how they have it at an angle here, but it comes out straight. And these are big, deep drawers. And then you've got countertop space that kind of tucks around by your bed. So you've got a little nightstand space there. Then again, those digital controls that you can control from your bed. And I like how open it is in this slide room. You don't have any cabinets overhead. Of course, those big Prevo windows back there. Got a nice splendid washer and dryer right here in your master bedroom. And as we're going through this coach, one thing that's really draws everything together well is these dark floors. I love these dark floors. And with all of the light colors, it just really just ties it together well. And then going into the back of the coach, you've got more closet space again with that underlit bar space cedar lined I like that it's you know split up if you want to separate your wardrobe a little bit there and again nice industrial style hinges finished in that same texture we've seen through the coach and then you've got nice deep drawers here too in the back of the coach and then back here you're gonna have your wine guard your Wally controls uh, housed in this area back here so this coach is a rare opportunity because there are very few late model coaches on the market, almost a brand new Prevo for under $2 million. And this spec that Featherlight did absolutely knocked it out of the park. So if you're a serious buyer, you can contact Bradley Twait at the Motor Coach Store in Bradenton, Florida. His information is available at themotorcoachstore.com. I greatly appreciate all of you that are subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again.